Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I recently redid, with the help of my husband, our office in our home. So we moved in a little over two years ago, like two and a half in October of this year, 2022. It will be three years that we are in this house. And we like bought some new pieces and put some desks together and did a layout in this office. And it looked great and it functioned for a little bit, but then it just became a cat all and it was not working the layout was not working for us and we had something out here in the main living area that we wanted to put behind a closed door so hence we needed to do a little office and makeover so that is what I am sharing with you guys today it is already finished right now but I'm gonna take you back to actually a few days ago and start fresh I'll show you guys what this room looked like before we're gonna take everything out I'm going to get some painting done and then we're gonna pull some pieces back in some old some new and then I will meet you guys right back here and we will do the final reveal and I will share with you guys everything that we have in here I'll even open some drawers show you guys some organization and give you the final office makeover tour all right, you guys, so here's a before of the office. We've got three dogs in here hanging out. It's like they know something's about to happen. So, I, I mean, I love how we have the setup or how we, you know, when we first set this up, but as we have been living in it, it has just not been working. So we have a couple new things. We have some stuff in the house that we'd like to move into this room um, to spruce up other areas of the house. So this room is about to get a pretty massive makeover paint included. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview just in case you are new and you have not seen the office. So this is where if the kids need to get on the computer, they all have little Chromebooks for school, but like playing games and stuff, looking up things online. Um, they use this computer, but mainly this is my husband Mark's spot. So he's got the like the computer and the monitors and all of that we've got a filing system here or a file cabinet a couple things on the wall i already took out and put up all of our papers we normally have papers out um, but they you know have personal information on it so i already hid all of those that way i could film real quick we've got this piece coming out and when we first did this setup you can see it's like coming apart we had all intentions of like if mark and i were working and we wanted to like come together and chit chat or go over some papers we had this or if the kids wanted to come in here and work and do arts and crafts or something, um, they could use this part and it's just hasn't been working that way. This is my little section, as you can tell by all the stuff <laughs> everywhere. I collect magnets from everywhere that I go. And then of course, a lot of you guys have sent in, um, I actually have a lot more. These are like the first um, few that I had at the very beginning of my uh, channel. I think I've added in a couple and taken some older ones out, but I've got little cards that you guys have sent me in the mail. So I've got all this stuff over here, the printer. I do not have a computer. I work solely on a laptop. I absolutely love it. So anyway, this is what our like work station, computer station looks like. I've got some of my extra lights and filming gear over there. And then if we turn this way, this has definitely become like just a hot zone to shove stuff in. So every single bin is full, all of these. Actually, I think I recently went through this and cleaned it out. There might be like two or three empty drawers that I got rid of stuff, but um, just random things like all shoved in here. We've got some books and then a whole bunch of just decor and knickknacks on the top. I always get questions whenever that is in a video. That is my husband's mom's um, flag from when she passed away. She was in the military. So um, that is hers. But yeah, I love, I mean, I love the look of this. It was really cute. I love putting it together. And when we first like installed it, getting it all set up, but it just has become an area where I know I have the space. So I just fill it up and we don't need to do that. So anyway, that is what the office is looking like before. So I'm going to do a quick, like you guys, it's going to take me a little while, but I'm going to completely empty this office and then we will come back in here and I'm going to clean the carpet and we're going to get some painting done. Okay, not completely empty yet, but first step was getting everything that I didn't need to get a tool for. So these are completely emptied. All the drawers are empty, cabinets emptied out, pulled the bins out, took all the decor off. 
Um, I couldn't even just pull this little screw out of the wall. I need a drill for that. And then these are attached to the wall for safety. So I will get those in a little bit. Got the curtain rod down, but again, I need to go grab a tool to get those off. Same with these shelves, they don't just come out. So, oh, I forgot about, I could probably pull these. Yeah, these little things out. I've got two more over there and then four over there. So I'll pull those out. And then I did empty all of these drawers on this side. And then there's some more over there, filing cabinet, got that out. And then I left everything that is plugged in for now because it is the end of a night. So I just wanted to get like the easy stuff done first. All right, I got as much done as I could without any help. All the things off the wall, well the like extra nails and stuff, I got them all out. Last thing I'm gonna do tonight is spackle so it can dry, just fill the holes. I know you guys can't see them that well, but I got the bookcases moved. I thought I might need help with them. They were pretty heavy, but super easy to push. So that was nice. And then I got the curtain rod down, shelving down. Again, all the extra screws and nails that were in there. Um, I am leaving this set up because I don't want to misplace any cords or mess anything up. So when my husband gets home later, he's going to do this section. I'll help him um, if he needs it with that, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Just unhooking all of that and that way he can set this somewhere safe while I am working on the room and he has everything he needs to reset it back up in its new spot once we are ready for it. But all right, I'm at a stopping point until he gets here and can do that. So next time you guys see this room, it will be completely empty and it's dark outside. It'll be light outside. <laughs> okay. The room is empty. I have filled all the holes and that has dried. The only thing left in here, I took off all the outlets that I could. Um, some of the internet ones are, you know, I can't really take them off that well. So they're just gonna hang there and I will paint around them. And then there's Oliver. <laughs> I could not get the blinds down. So my husband's gonna have to help me with that later, um, but that won't take me long to paint. It's just the inside of the window. But speaking of paint, I've brought all of it in. So I do have a little bit of white paint just because when we replaced the fan, it wasn't the same size as the one that was in here. Um, so you can see like this room used to be all one color, like this dark beige. So, and it's pretty early in the morning, so it's a little dark, <laughs> but I know you guys can see the difference there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that so it matches the ceiling. And then I do have the wall color here. So once I get all the walls painted, I will show you guys that and I'll let you know what color we picked. And I guess Buford wants to make an appearance as well. So here's a Buford. We'll see if I can do some painting with the door open, if the dogs are good and they don't get into the paint or if I'm gonna have to shut them out of this room while I get to work. Oh, and the last one is making an appearance as well. There's Bella. All right, the painting is done. I can't remember off the top of my head what the color is called. So I will pop it up on the screen, but it is a little different. It's got more of a purple hue than, um, you know, I, I looked these colors up online and then went to the store and picked them up. But I think once we get everything in here, it won't be so in your face because obviously there's nothing else in the room. So it is very, very bright. I was hoping it would have more of a blue undertone because that is the way it looked online. But it is pretty gloomy outside, obviously everything looks different depending on the lighting. So this took me about six hours <laughs> to get all the painting done. I do have just a tiny more bit of paint to do because I could not get the blinds off and I forgot to ask my husband to help me last night. Um, we are going to go ahead and get new blinds anyway without, see the cord here? We're gonna get the ones that you can just push up. So these ones are going to go and once we get those off, I have to paint the sides there and the top where they are. Well, I might not have to paint the top. We'll see since that's always covered anyway when the new blinds come in, but all right, done painting. I also, you guys see up there, you can't see the little like taupe beige paint that they had before. It's all one white color with the ceiling. So now I'm going to give this room a good clean. While I was up there painting, there are some spider webs in <laughs> my light fixture so and you know, the fans aren't horrible but they could use with a light dusting so i'm going to go ahead and clean off the fan 
and then I'm going to give the room a good vacuum. I'm going to wipe off the baseboards. Um, I do still have a few of the outlets that I need to get back in, so I'll do that. And then I'm also going to steam clean the carpet. Um, even though this will be replaced um, sometime this year, I believe, I still want it to be nice and clean. So let me go ahead and get that cleaning done and then I will be back with you guys to start bringing everything in. All right, you guys, so now we are getting to one of the new items that Mark is gonna put together. This desk is actually for him. He has a standing desk at work that he absolutely loves. So when we decided to do this office makeover, he knew that he wanted a standing desk in here. And this is where I want to thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring just this portion of the video. They offered to send him one to try out and he loves it. He's like, dang, at his office, he just has the kind that goes on top of the desk that he already has. So he has a regular sit down desk and he has a little piece that goes on top of his desk that will rise up and rise back down. Well, this desk does it all. It goes up to whatever you want and will go back down if you want to sit at it as well. So the desk that Mark has is the FlexiSpot Calm Hair all-in-one standing desk with a wooden top and then it is EW8M. I will have an exclusive link in the description box for an awesome discount if you guys want to check that out. They have a few other options or quite a few options on their website, not just this desk. It is super easy to assemble. As you guys can see, Mark is doing it all by himself. I think he just needed my help once um, and really he didn't even need my help. He just said it would be a little easier. I don't wanna mess this up when we are flipping it up to standing position. This desk has several different options for presetting a memory function. So you guys are gonna see here in a little bit that he has it preset. Well, all, all he has to do is press it once to turn it on, press it one more time, and the desk goes to the position that he likes that is good for his height and for his arms when he is working at the computer. You can also preset it for the desk height that you want if you are sitting down as well. It'll go all the way down to a specific point, but you can preset it to that perfect spot right above your legs so it is not too low for you and the chair that you happen to have. The top of this desk has a bamboo texture, which I loved. Uh, as you guys can see, if you've been following me for a little bit, I'm adding some natural wood elements into each room of the house. So I knew I wanted that when he was picking out a desk. And then it also has some USB ports to charge your phone or other electronics and not just the, I'm not very technical with this stuff, but the USB-A, I believe, it also has the C, which I've heard charges your electronics faster than the A. Um, also some of the new iPhones, really I just know iPhones because that's what I have, but if you have a Samsung or any other type of phone, it has the two different plugs because I know not all phones have the same plugs and they can be a different. So, all right, we've got the desk put together. Now you guys can get a little clip of Mark at the desk, how he can sit at it, pushes it twice to stand. He, like I said, he absolutely loves it and he cannot wait to really start using it more at home instead of just outside the home and at work. And I also wanted to just give you a little closer up of the buttons. And then in this middle part here, there is a drawer as well. And look how big it is. Mark was able to fit quite a bit in this drawer. So it definitely has lots of storage. 
All right, so now it is time to share with you guys what it looks like after. So you guys already saw one of the new items, this desk for my husband. He has a standing desk at his office and he absolutely loves it. So we knew that he wanted one in here. Another shout out to FlexiSpot for sending this to him. He absolutely loves it. We did get, I will have everything that I can linked in the description box. We did get some new chairs. These are like office slash gaming chairs. Got them off of Amazon. And no, that is not like just a, well, it is a used energy drink sitting there, but <laughs> <laughs> my husband loves Dragon Ball Z and I got this. I found this drink at an anime shop for him. It was an actual drink. He already drank it, washed it out, all of that, but he did want to keep it. So <laughs> I got it for him for Christmas and I knew he would want to display it. His desk is actually pretty clean right now since we just did this makeover. Who knows what it's going to look like in a couple months. He might have some more stuff on here, but I know he wants to keep this clean since it does move up and down. Another reason why we, just, we decided to go ahead and instead of having his monitors on the stands, he put them on this piece right here that we also got off of Amazon and it is connected to the desk. So these monitors are not going to fall anywhere. All right, we also picked up this little rolling cart and this is what is holding our computer and it is also holding our printer. So that is nice. We can pull it out when we want to use the printer. It's not even plugged in right now. We actually don't use it that often anymore, but we've got that going there. And then my desk is not too different. So I did have this tabletop and one of these pieces. These pieces are from Ikea, but I went ahead and moved the other one under the other side of my desk instead of having the poles that were there. That way we have even more storage. And if you guys remember on Mark's desk, this piece right here is what the monitors were standing on. And I went ahead and took that as well for, you know, so we have more storage and we can maximize it. I do have just a few decorations on here, some greenery for me to enjoy, a candle that I like to light if I'm going to be in the office for a long period of time. And then I don't actually work on a computer. I've worked on a laptop for years. So this is my laptop and then I am dabbling with the Cricut machine. I love this because I can hide like my stack of papers and planners and stuff like that. I just hide it and put this little sign here and my desk looks nice and clean, right? <laughs> Over here, uh, this little rainbow was actually painted by my good friend Kira over at 50 Shades of Mom. Her daughter Maya painted that for me for my birthday and I told her that I would display it in my office. So I did put it right here next to, I always have to have tissues, especially this time of year. So I've got a box of tissues. Then I just have some random like thank you notes for anything that gets sent to my PO box. I've got labels for Christmas time. Over here in this one, I believe I have a whole bunch of glues. Yes, I've got glues, hot glue gun, wood glue, super glue, and then of course my lighter for when I want to light my candle. And then, and these drawers, I kind of just tried to organize the best I could with the bins. I didn't buy anything new. So with just the bins that we already had, we've got batteries in here, envelopes, and the, these are the ink cartridges for our printer. And then this one is mainly like Mark's. <laughs> So he's got a lot of his gaming gaming items in here. So he's got a remote, some headphones. We have our microphone for when we go live as well as our webcam. We've got that in here and then our air for when we're cleaning. I do have sitting right under here. I know it's a little dark back there, but a trash can. I've got a lot of room like this goes back really far. So I don't even touch that trash can with my legs when I'm sitting here. I do have the same chair. Went ahead and got matching chairs off of Amazon. Um, I am always, I'm wearing a cardigan right now. If I'm not wearing a cardigan or even sometimes when I am, I get chilly really easily. So I do have a blanket in here, a little throw blanket. I picked this up from Target. Then I will take you guys over here on this side of my desk. So this is all my computer stuff, things I use when I'm working. I've got my laptop charger, um, my extra batteries for my cameras, my blue light glasses. I do get headaches. I find if I'm editing for a long time, for a long period of time, in here, I need to put the little glue dots on here so they stay. 
but just random office supplies that I tried again to just separate and organize the best that I could. Got some more random office supplies in here. And then down here are all my extra notebooks and pads and papers and, and all of that. So that is it as far as my desk and organization. And then up here on the wall, I do have my YouTube plaque for hitting 100,000 subscribers. And then I just put the little lemons there. I thought that went well. It, you know, me being lemonade mom, this little Shopkin, I actually, I think I made those videos private, but in the beginning of my channel, I used to do a lot of videos with my children. And some of those were like Shopkin unboxings and things like that. And this was one of the first ones that we opened up and I thought it was really cool that it was a little lemon. So I've had it ever since it's been in my office, either in a drawer or out on a shelf. So I just stuck that little guy right there. And then this map I actually got off of the website and it's, it's an app also jane.com. This is a map that you can scratch off where you've been. I think I've been a couple more places. I need to check with my parents. We've done a lot of sightseeing and you know, we've been to a lot of places. So I kind of just scratched off what I could remember as a child and then as an adult places that I've been, but I'm hoping one day I can have this entire map scratched off. I think that would be really cool. And then I like to collect magnets everywhere I go, not just states, different states, but like theme parks and places and museums and things like that. So this is my magnet collection so far everything that I have I actually have several from Disney because I couldn't decide and we were there for so long that I picked up one from pretty much every park that we went to but there's my magnet collection definitely things that I love I love to travel and go places and I wanted um, these two items right here that I can look at every day to remind me of everywhere that I have been. Okay, we did get some new curtains because we raised the curtain rod. I'll show you guys that in a second. These are just sheer curtains off of Amazon. And then I will step back so you guys can see it's gonna get, the sun is starting to go down, but we kind of raised it all the way to the ceiling, but because of the molding that is in here, the curtains were kind of in between. So I could have gotten curtains that were up but I thought those would look weird. So I just got the next size. So they do puddle a little bit, but I think that makes it look really cozy in here. All right, and then if we turn this way, we did keep one of the bookcases that we had in here. It was two of them on the wall behind me before. So we were definitely able to downsize a little bit. We had a lot of stuff that we just didn't need. Some of the stuff was the kids. We were able to move up into their rooms. Everything that Mark and I need or would like to have in here is in here and nothing else. So that's always nice. I have some of my filming equipment right here, my extra light ring light that I use when I'm doing like sit down videos. And then also this is the camera that I use for like all of my Dollar Tree hauls and the occasional unboxing and taste test. This is the camera that I use for those. So because there's only one of these in here, I did change up the decor just a little bit, nothing new, just rearranged what I had and kind of picked um, some pieces that I really loved. So we've got all of those up here, same clock, that time is totally wrong. <laughs> I need to change that, it's running though, batteries are still good. The time is just totally wrong. And then we have, between Mark and I, some books up here, some books that we love, um, some books that we haven't even read yet, we were gifted, and then just some information and random papers that we have in binders for different things. And then these bins, I had the gray ones, but I thought that was a little too busy for in here. And I wanted to kind of pull some more brown tones in here because if you guys can see here, we did bring the piano in here from the living room. So I did order these 12 by 12 bins off of Amazon. They come in a two pack. So you can see here, I have a total of eight. I have a lot of my Cricut items in here for when I am 
doing some DIYs. I've got project pieces in here for also the Cricut machine and upcoming DIYs that I have in mind. And this one is a lot of my camera gear. And then in here, this is the only thing like arts and crafts wise that we did not move upstairs. Like all the markers and crayons and construction paper is up there. But when it comes to paint, I don't want the kids to have paint upstairs. So this bin is full of their painting supplies, some canvases, their little water bowls, some aprons, and then under all of this is, let's see, I've got extra aprons in here for when they have friends over. And then of course, all the paint. I definitely did not want the kids to have that upstairs. And then also we've got some big canvases that would not fit in that bin. So I have them in here as well as trays. Like my rule is whenever they are downstairs, well really I'd like them to do it upstairs too, but I know they don't. Whenever they're doing any, any kind of drawing, coloring, painting, playing with Play-Doh, anything like that, I prefer them to use a tray just to keep wherever they're sitting safe. The tabletop or the floor, if they're laying on the floor, I like them to use a tray. Okay, in here is a an enormous amount of school supplies. I did buy school supplies in bulk this year. So I have extra tape. Well, this isn't really a school supply. This is more of an office supply. I have a ton of glue and then I have a ton of the Ticonderoga pre-sharpened pencils. So we are definitely not going to need to buy pencils or glue for next school year because I have plenty right here. In this one, we have our magic bands for when we went to Disney World. And then we also have some other park items. So we've got some stuff from Grey Wolf Lodge that we can reuse every time we go and visit, as well as the World, Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the wands. These ones are interactive with the park at Universal Studios. So those items I like to keep so we do not have to purchase new ones. In this cabinet, I have some of my um, projects and mats and just items for the Cricut machine that do not fit in a bin. In this drawer, I have a camera. Um, this is something that I'm thinking about sharing. Mark and I have been doing these dates for a little while now. And then I do have a family one that the kids and I, well us, Mark and I, have done with the kids. They're actually up here. It's called the Adventure Challenge. I got it a little bit before Christmas this year. So we've only been working in them for a couple months but they are a lot of fun and it definitely just changes things up. We also have this family movie night book and um, this is something that we just record. We take turns picking each member of the family, all six of us, we pick a movie and we just jot it down and um, we can take pictures and save those in there as well. So that's really the only thing in here, definitely room if I needed it for more storage. And then this one is just some extra papers that I didn't put upstairs with the kids. So I've got some cardstock down there and then I've got some bright colored construction paper here. This bin is an overflow of all the cards and letters. I actually have a file in my file cabinet at the end, you guys will see here, um, that is full of them, but it was getting so much that I, I think I might take that file out and just put them all in here. But everything that has been sent to me from you guys, from people who follow me on other social media, um, that has been, that I have received from my PO box. This one is for the kids and homework. So they have some index cards with a whole bunch of stuff. We still have like popcorn words in there just in case they want a refresher. Um, we'll probably be able to get rid of those very soon though as the girls, our youngest, are going into fourth grade this coming school year. They're ending out third grade this year. They do have Chromebooks. Um, they use these for a little bit during when they had online schooling, but now that they are in public school or in school learning, they don't use these as much, but we are gonna keep them because you never know. They do have some programs with the school that they can do their homework on. So we use these for that as well. So it's pretty much all the kids' school stuff in there. And this one is very heavy. We have extra. I bought this like two years ago, a huge case of printer paper from either Costco or Sam's. And we, I definitely won't do that again because we, we do not use the printer enough to have an overabundance like this. But I, I have four packs left here. And then I have another pack that has been opened that is in here. So lots of uh, printer paper. 
And then last but not least, and this one is a lot of miscellaneous items for my husband and his computer and knickknacks and things like that. And then this is something to do with the internet. I don't know anything about that, but it's actually plugged in behind this thing. So I just have it tucked away in this bin. So it is a little a nicer looking and actually just a little secret. I have some stuff right here too. <laughs> These are things that won't fit in a bin or a cabinet, um, just wooden signs that I'm going to be DIYing with the Cricut machine. All right, and then one of the big things that we moved in here from the living room is the piano. Uh, my daughter Paige plays it the most. She likes to play this pretty much every day and sometimes um, it's just a little too distracting in the house with things that are going on so we knew that we wanted to put this behind a closed door there's no way this is getting moved upstairs anyway anywhere it is way too heavy so the only place i could think of was the office so one of the reasons why we decided to do this office makeover is i wanted to make room for the piano let's see if i can I know a couple songs, but some of them I need both of my hands. I think I can play one thing with one hand. We do have the little um, learning stickers on here for the younger kids. There's a little song for you guys while I'm standing up with one hand. <laughs> one hand on the piano and one hand holding the camera. But that's about as much as you guys are gonna get from me right now. And then last but not least, we do have our filing cabinet. I'm not going to open that because obviously that has a lot of personal information. I do have some business items in there. And then this guy has been full for well over two years, I feel like. <laughs> I think we're gonna let the kids like count this one day and then we'll just split the money between them. Just kind of getting a little bit of learning education in there. But this is our adventure fund. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. Sometimes I leave the stickers on. Yep, Hobby Lobby right there. Uh, I got this a while ago and it is very heavy. It's been full of change forever. And then I just have this little piece of decor. I actually bought this piece for the game room, but it won't fit anywhere. So I was like, I don't want to return it. I just stuck it right there. It works, right? So that is what we have kind of tucked away in this little corner. And that is it, you guys. That is our office makeover. I think it looks really cute. And I also feel like it is going to be a lot more functional for us. We definitely have our like his and her area. The kids have plenty of room to just hang out in here if they want. When I'm using the Cricut machine, sometimes I'll bring in, we have a folding table in the garage, so I will bring that in and set it up depending on what I am working on. But I do think it turned out pretty good. Let me step right here. This is kind of what you see. I'm standing in our front entryway right now, the little hallway that we've got going on. So when you're looking through, I'm not gonna close the door right now because I do have dogs, like all three of them are in here, um, but the door does have a glass front on it. I do have a wreath hanging up there. So if you're standing here, this is what you see. And I do think it looks a pretty nice for guests when they come over. All right, you guys, so that is the office makeover. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a couple things that we're going to be doing in the house that I will share with you guys. Not all of the rooms I'll be doing like a standalone video, but there are quite a few things that we are hoping to change this year. I will definitely be bringing you guys along with me as well as if you follow me on Instagram, you see things in real time and well in advance sometimes versus on YouTube. So if you want to go give me a follow over there, um, I definitely am pretty active on the daily, taking you guys along with me, showing you what I'm doing, giving you a little inside peek at what's coming up over here on YouTube. So if you guys enjoy room makeovers, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to check out Flexi Spot in the description box along with any other links that I have added in there for things that I have purchased for this room makeover. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.